look at all of those slow moving storms moving just south of the Dallas Metro. This flood warning is going to continue until six o'clock in the morning. When we start to pick up on those yellows and reds, this is a lot. This is a look right now in Fort Worth, Texas, as we know, just off to the west of the Dallas Metro. And look how much water is just pooling on the roads here. This van stuck in water that's actually rushing and moving. And that's the concern too. Just take a couple of inches of rushing water. It'll sweep you off your feet. It can pick up your car and take you where you don't want to be. Take a look at estimated rainfall just in the last six hours. Dallas, three to five inches of rain. And this is definitely a beneficial thing in the form of drought. But when we have so much rain coming down at one time on very dry soils, which is what we have in place right now within this environment, Environment. It leads to this quick runoff. Our drainage in our urban areas can't take this much rain in such a short amount of time. And that's what's leading to this very likely risk for flooding through the morning commute. So just take it very slow. Be very careful. And if you can stay off the roads, make sure you do so. We still have more rain on the way. Britta. Yeah, the heavy rain we're talking about has already caused a lot of issues across Texas. Take a look at this video from Fort Worth. The road's looking more like rivers. And at points, we had three inches of rain falling in just one hour in spots in North Texas. So again, it's too much for any drainage system to take on. And it always is going to lead to that threat of street flooding. So a good morning to stay off the roads in Dallas, especially until we can get some daylight and see how widespread the flooding is.